We're here today with the winners of the seaplane competition that we launched this year as part of the seaplane that was built at Brough uh, to mark the centenary of the Brough site. The second part of the project was to inspire young people in schools. So we launched this competition and today we brought the winners along. Uh, they had to design a cockpit and we've got some brilliant entries um, so we brought two winning teams and two runner-up teams with us today. We've had um, a tour of the Hawk and Typhoon and now that they're having a go on the simulator, the Typhoon simulator. Because we've won a competition we've come to look around the BAE facilities, have a tour of the Hawk and Typhoon factories where they make them and have a go in the flight simulator. So this design it was for the Blackbird seaplane uh, competition it's a yoke which we thought would be useful because they would need to fly the plane as it can be used to control and uh, manoeuvre. So we 3D printed this on, our tech teachers 3D printed and laser cut the sides and the back for to free stand up on. I think what we're trying to do is not only inspire them to think of engineering, they don't get the opportunities in school to see an actual manufacturing of an aircraft. Um, company like this, um, so it opens their eyes to opportunities and um, careers that they can think about in the future. So here I've got the dashboard replica from the 1918 Blackburn seaplane that we've manufactured ourselves at Frederick Off School. So first of all we did some major research in the actual plane itself by finding dimensions of the uh, actual dashboard including the dimensions of each gauge and the location. So each gauge is in the exact place it would be if you looked at the actual aircraft that this is based upon. We've got all the electronics and the mechanicals. This works based on gravity, so it adjusts as it tilts. And this is programmed using an Arduino to update the screen showing the altitude in feet. <laughs> We want to bring a pipeline of young engineers into the business. The young people are our future. We've got a whole raft of apprenticeship programmes that are on offer within BAE and this is sort of opening their eyes to what is out there. So the more schools we can get into and run competitions like this or, or do STEM activities in schools, then I believe that the company will benefit from it in the long run. All yours now. One hand is all you need.